Hi, my name is Mike Clark, and today we're going to show you how to laser engrave photos on glass. Doing this technique is actually quite easy. It's not hard to do as long as you follow a couple of important steps. If you do this, you will have a lot of success engraving photos on glass. Traditionally, laser engraving photos on glass wasn't easy. In the old days, this was, this was a technique that a lot of people just didn't even try. And those that tried did be, didn't meet with a lot of success. About eight to 10 years ago, I got frustrated with, with having issues with laser engraving photos. I came up with this technique and for the most part, it makes it a lot easier for me to get proper results when I want to etch an actual photo on glass. The secret to this is using a mask. The mask I normally use is transfer tape. You'll typically see this tape used a lot when you want to apply vinyl letters or when somebody wants to etch into a piece of material and then paint fill it after. Or maybe you'll use this to protect the material that you cut and then just peel it off and you won't have any discoloration or burning on the edge. The nice thing about this material is that it's water soluble so it allows me to etch the photo and then basically all I have to do is place it under water and the mask will come off. I know a lot of suppliers will talk about using wet newspaper uh, and, and this technique will work. Um, this wet newspaper presents a couple of problems. Uh, one is what's wet and which newspaper are you going to use? Uh, certainly the newspaper from five to ten years ago is a lot different than the newspaper that we see nowadays um, in terms of the print. Um, again, the problem when you don't know what wet is and you don't know what the newspaper is, it's hard to get consistent results. And this is really the most important uh, technique that you, that you need to get right. You need to get this consistent so that when we pick a power and speed, it's always going to be the same. If I use the transfer tape, it's always the same tape. I don't have to wet it. So it's always the same power and speed. I don't have to guess at anything. All I really need to be concerned about is getting a proper photo. The other problem with paper is that, or wet newspaper, is that typically what happens is the exhaust will dry the paper out and suck off the newspaper off the actual uh, product that, on the glass that you're working with. Some people usually suggest maybe putting some soap on there, but hey, for, for me that's A, a lot of extra work, and B, it doesn't really work too well because a lot of times if you're doing a really large photo, then it doesn't work. This is the photo that we're going to work with today. And what you'll see on this photo is that I've got a nice portrait here with minimal background and it's, this is going to be actually fairly easy for me to reproduce in Corel Draw. This was a photo that was given to me by a dealer in New York State uh, who, had had, who was having some issues uh, with doing photos and again the problem was they weren't using the mask. You can't use plain glass. You can if you want. <clears throat> the, the, the thing with, with, um, with, with using masks is it just gives us a finer detail, uh, gives us um, a more smooth etch. We don't have as much fracturing on the glass. So we get a lot more detail that we see with the actual photograph that you won't get when you just bare, uh, bare engrave into glass without a mask. So the, the tick, trick to this is twofold. One is make the proper corrections in Corel Draw, and most importantly, use the transfer tape. If you use the transfer tape, the results that you'll get with doing photographs will be a lot higher in terms of the percentage of getting a good looking photograph. Take a look at the two images on the screen. You'll notice that one has been laser engraved with a transfer mask, which is the image on the left. The image on the right has been laser engraved with no mask. Thus, we've engraved directly onto the glass with the laser machine. You notice that the masked image, the one on the left, is a lot cleaner and shows a lot more detail than the non-masked image. The non-masked image tends to be bolder and a lot of the fine details are actually absent compared to the masked image. This image shows that when we use a mask, we get a lot more detail. This detail we will need when we want to laser engrave photographs. Thus, when we want to do photographs, we want to use a mask. If you take a look at the two photographs on the screen, you notice that the image on the left has been laser engraved using a transfer mask. The image on the right has been 
laser engraved with no mask and therefore has been laser engraved directly on the glass. The image on the left shows a lot more detail than the image on the right. You can see the outline of the legs, you can see the creases in the dress, and you can see good detail in the body and the face. The non-masked image, a lot of these, this detail is absent in the photograph. You can see that the mask has provided a lot more detail in the photograph. The image on the right, in a lot of cases, would be unacceptable for most people in terms of supplying a finished product. Thus, to get a good quality image, we need to use a transfer mask. In this example, we're going to place transfer mask on the glass. So first off, let's get the glass set up on our table. And we're going to take the roll of transfer mask and I'm going to roll it out. Typically what I like to do is just put the first little piece on top of the table. This allows me to pull the mask without having it pull off the table. I push the glass up against the mask and now I'm just rolling the mask out. I'm going to take my piece of plastic and I'm going to pull towards me and then this will adhere the mask to the actual glass itself. As you're doing it, be careful that you're not getting creases in the actual mask. If you do, just lift the mask up and then reapply it. This is a medium tack mask and it will come off fairly easy. Take the X-Acto knife, make a cut, and then don't worry about the excess that's on the actual glass. So I'm just going to cut it off with the X-Acto knife. I turned it upside down. I'm going to make a quick cut and I'll make another quick cut on the other side. And I've got my glass ready to send on the laser machine. Now if you do happen to have a couple of bubbles, um, which maybe we'll find once we smooth out the actual mask, you can see there's a couple of small bubbles there. Just take your X-Acto knife and prick the bubble. So there's a little bit of a hole made. And then just take our hard piece of plastic, smooth it out, the bubbles typically will go away. So there you have it. Our mask is on the glass. I can now place this on the laser machine. The above image shows my finished image. As you can see, I have an excellent looking photograph done on glass. I've spray painted the MDF background of the picture frame black just to allow the photo to stand out a little bit better. Even though I've done this, the image still looks good even by itself. So remember, if you want to get really good looking photos on glass, you need to use a transfer mask.